Hey, Kendra, what's the worst feeling in the whole world? Ugh, you know, feeling shackled by cords. I know. Ugh. The good people at X5 Audio feel the same way. Uh -huh. So they have sent us a wireless microphone unit to try out. What? But it's not like any wireless mic unit. Why? You attach this to an existing microphone that you have. Oh, <gasps> no. She's excited. Yeah. She's Can you pretty see my foot? excited. What? She's pretty excited about it. Needless to say. So we're going to go check this out in the field, live gig time, and then I will give you my full thoughts on it I after like the show. I look like a little shrinky dink compared to you. I need to put my shoes on. Bye. <laughs> I know you suffered, but I, I don't want you to hide. It's cold and loveless. I won't let you. Honest thoughts, as always, I'm not getting paid by this company or anything, so this is just my, my actual unfiltered opinion on these. Uh, we played a three hour gig, the battery life was fine. It says you can have up to five hours of battery life. The great thing about these things is they are rechargeable through kind of like a dual USB cable that is included. Uh, the main reason that I really like the idea of this is because normally, like a traditional wireless mic setup, has like a, its own microphone that connects to maybe like a receiver like this that requires power. Uh, usually you have to plug into a wall outlet and then you still run this into a mixer. So it's really not any less cables. It's just kind of like a different way to be wireless. But the great thing about these is you can use an existing microphone, which I really love this Audix OM5. And then you just kind of plug this 
into the mic and then the other one right into your mixer. So there's actually less gear because you don't have another XLR cable and you don't have to worry about kind of like finding a spot for the transmitter box. Sound quality was fantastic. Uh, I couldn't even tell a the difference. There was no latency that was uh, noticed to my ear. The one thing that I will say about these is the little, uh, the, the click, the, the clip that goes in to the mic. See, like if you just do this, like this right here, it just kind of comes on and kind of comes off like that. I feel like that's kind of like a very, you know, serious design flaw that maybe like the next revision of these should look into. So you really have to be sure to really kind of make sure you have this forced in until you get the click and then it's solid. But if you're not paying attention, you can just kind of slide it in and that's not going to do it, right? It looks like it's going to be there, but you can just pull it out. So really, I definitely suggest these. I think they make life a lot easier. I'm going to be using them pretty much for all my gigs going forward, just with the caveat to remember to really get that in there until you hear the click. Uh, now, I this is the same company that makes the wireless guitar system that I use. So the only other thing that I should mention is, and again, you can use up to six of these at a time, is if you're using it with the wireless guitar system, you want to make sure they're on different channels. Now, the wireless guitar system is, is almost kind of just like default set to be channel one on these. So all you have to do is just press the button to make it channel two. And then, like I had, you'll have no problems. So I'm a big fan of these. Uh, I really, uh, I think it's so much more beneficial to be able to use something with an existing microphone that you're comfortable with instead of having to be locked in to like a wireless microphone that comes with a, a, a unit box like this. Not that there's anything wrong with this. I just kind of like really love the Audix mic. And uh, it's great to be able to kind of use that in a wireless context. So definitely if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website, and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.